What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a really quick, short video for you. This is gonna be a safety video anytime you're out on a waterway, especially here in North Carolina. If you look here in front of me, this is the Highway 127 bridge. It goes from Bethlehem over to the city of Hickory or Alexander County over to Catawba County. And did you know that anytime you're on the waterway, these bridges are no wake zones? And it's not just because they're doing construction over here or doing a uh, core sample survey. It's also because there are no wake zones. We don't want to uh, destroy these bridge pilings here. So anytime that you go up underneath the bridge, you need to be going very, very slow. Do not come flying through here, balls to the wall. Slow down as you go through here. We definitely don't want to damage anything on this bridge or anything below the bridge as well. Uh, the infrastructure of itself, especially if this bridge, if you know anything about 127, it's near a collapse anyway. So we definitely want to make sure that we're being safe when we're out here in the water. Just remember, all bridges on waterways, especially here in North Carolina, they are no wake zones. So please slow down. Once you get a good safe distance away, then of course you can throttle back up and enjoy the rest of your day on the lake. That's going to do it for today's short little video. This is a safety uh, video. Anytime you're out on a boat, bridges are no wake zone. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, definitely check with your local wildlife and see what type of boating courses you can get involved in in your state. And we encourage everybody, even if you've aged out, I think the age of 25 it is what it is here in North Carolina. Once you're past 25, you don't have to have a boater's education. But I would still encourage you to go out and take the classes. They're free. They don't cost you nothing to go take. So get on your local wildlife page, whatever it is uh, for your state. Take the boater education courses and be a safe boater when you're out there. But guys, that's going to do it for today's tip. If you like it, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions on boater, boater education, and boater safety, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer the questions the best I can. But I'm going to get back. We're going to go eat some lunch and enjoy our day on the lake. Till our next video, take care. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.